Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. Hi everyone, I'm Nilfar Salehi from Stanford's HCI group, and today I'm presenting a project called Dynamo. As has come up a few times in the questions, um, as digital labor markets are growing, they're posing new challenges for us as researchers, as workers, and as activists. For example, how can workers of these systems organize for higher wages? I think that paid crowdsourcing is a significant example as well as a very extreme case of the shifting dynamics of work. It seems that this shift may also be transforming the requirements for labor activism. But what would la labor activism look like? Today I'll talk about our effort to ask the question, how can we co-design socio-technical systems to support digital workers' social movements? Through a year of ethnographic fieldwork with these Mechanical Turk workers, we sought to understand the barriers that worker collectives faced for collective action. The result was a pr system called Dynamo, uh, that is a platform that supports Mechanical Turk workers' communities to form collectives or publics around issues and to mobilize. Dynamo works based on idea pitches, so any worker can come to the platform and submit a tweet length idea pitch or an issue. People can vote these issues up or down, and they can discuss them on the Dynamo forum. Then when a, an idea reaches enough supporters, it evolves into a campaign, and people can take action and track progress. Since its deployment on the web in late July, 482 Turkers have signed up on Dynamo. They have submitted 23 ideas for action, and two of them have turned into campaigns. To take a step back, Dynamo is our effort to understand the challenges that online collectives face when they gather not just to talk, but to take action. It seems that the same affordances that make the internet an ideal place for gathering also make it easy to dissipate. And unfortunately, a majority of collective efforts online fail. We found that two common pitfalls that these collectives f face when they try to act is stalling, that's when they lose momentum and stop making progress, and friction, that's when there are too many critiques and disagreements within the group that lead it to flare into acrimony. And I'll talk more about these failure scenarios, but first I want to talk about two efforts that did succeed on Dynamo. The first was an effort to create collectively written ethical guidelines for research using Mechanical Turk. Now this was not easy. Imagine that these are large numbers of workers, they know each other only on the internet and have different online communities or forums. Now these people had to get together and they needed to reach agreements about the principles that they agreed would help them and would protect their work. Then they had to write these down, make them public and gather endorsement. This effort succeeded, but it required a lot of discussion, organizing, and coordination work. It's available online as a 23-page document that 216 workers and researchers have signed so far. A second effort was a collective effort to show the world who Turkers are, written from their own viewpoints. Its final goal was, in a way, to gain public recognition about these workers and their work. Now, historically, this is a strategy that a lot of labor movements use, especially for work that is somehow hidden from the public view, like the work that janitors do. Now, imagine that for online workers, this is even more challenging, because these workers are hidden behind their monitors. And in a way, gaining recognition as human beings with rights is a task in itself. This campaign was very successful. Their letters that Turkers wrote to Jeff Bezos were published in a number of media outlets like The Guardian, The Daily Beast, and two European radio stations. Now, while these movements were successful, they constantly faced failure. As I mentioned, they faced stalling when the project itself just seemed too hard to be possible and people stopped making progress. And it faced friction when there were critiques and disagreements within the community that they had to somehow address. Now we argue that these two failure scenarios are, are pitfalls that are inherent challenges for collectives that want to act online. And they're somehow linked. To avoid stalling, you need to build momentum and act. 
but acting can backfire if other people disagree, causing friction. To address friction, on the other hand, may reduce hope and motivation, causing stalling. But what can we do about it? We found that these publics required distinct kinds of la labor and organizing and structuring work, what we call the labor of action. We have, we've identified and described five scripts for this labor that you can read about in our paper. And we argued that the mechanisms that we used can be replicated to catalyze action in other online communities. We think that these kinds of labor give light to the idea that social software by itself can produce the conditions for change. And as a research community, we can begin to recognize the labors that, that combine with software to bring about social change and ask about how we can better support and recognize these labors. Through this project, we've taken initial steps towards understanding the ways to support dispersed online crowds to act collectively. You can find Dynamo at wearedynamo.org. Thank you.